In this screencast, we are going to discuss about the API login feature and do a quick demo of how to use a per API login feature with API Manager 410. Hello, I'm Danish Kuhl, Senior Software Engineer at WSO2. Logging is important when API Manager is deployed in a server and maintainers need to monitor the system. API Manager gives you multiple ways of logging, logging including correlation logs, message tracking, and per API login. Why per API logging is important? Correlation logs contain the top data and it causes lower performance. On the other hand, it logs details of all the APIs, but per API logging lets you to enable logging for selected APIs. Per API logging tracks request comes in and out from the API manager. It collects data from the request in, request out, response in and response out. Per API login lets you define multiple log, log, log levels. Off is disable, disable in the logs. Basic level print the API context, resource, and correlation ID. And standard logs all the basic logs along with the header information. Full level is to log the standard properties and the payload. You can use per API login REST API to change the log level of given API. With this API, you can query and set the log level of each API. So this is the API let you to get the log level of all available APIs. This is the API that query all the API with the given log level. You can use this API to get the log level if you already know the API ID. So this API is to change the log level of a given API. Here you should provide the API ID and the log level. Next we will move on to the demo. In this demo, I am going to demonstrate the per API login feature of WC2 API Manager 410 pack. So I have already downloaded the API Manager 410 pack in here. So I am open up my terminal and go into the API Manager uh, home folder and then what I'm going to do is uh, changing my directory into the bin folder and here you can start the API manager by executing the API manager starting script now the API manager gets started next I'm going to deploy a sample API on the first API manager for that go to the browser and login into the publisher portal and you can use the admin as the username and the admin as the password so when you're logging into the public publisher portal you can deploy a sample fish api by clicking on the rest api and deploy sample api so this will create a sample fish api on wc api manager so once you have deployed this uh, sample PCHAC API, the next thing I'm going to do is uh, using this uh, WC2 API manager, manager REST API to query the information about the APIs and log level. So here, here I have listed down the, the, rest, uh, the curl command that you can use to list down the available APIs and log level. So I'm getting a new terminal and execute this command. So once you have executed this command, this will show the this response that the PCHAC API is available and the log level has all. So the next thing I'm going to do is uh, enable the log levels. And for that one, I can use this uh, particular curl command. And here I'm going to extract this API ID. And I'm use that API ID here. and then i'm going to execute this command so this is a the log level change change the full and if you execute the previous command again to list down the apis now you can see the log level change as full so the next thing i'm going to do is uh, go into the publisher portal and try to invoke this fishhack api so in the left, left panel you can see under the test uh, tab the tryout so I'm going to the resource menu and click on the try it out and then I'm going to execute this uh, particular API and then 
I'm getting a 200 response from the backend. So now if you have checked the log directory which is inside the API manager or repository and log folder here you can see api.log file getting created so if you open up this uh, this uh, api log file you can see the api logs are getting created in here so this is about the uh, api manager api manager per api logging feature so thank you very much for watching this uh, screencast